Hi, in this video we're going to use Java to write to files. So we're going to have a basic file writer and something called a print writer. So I'm in the Eclipse uh, code editor and let's try a new project. So I'm going to name my project as activity 4 2 write. So I'll create a new class and I'm going to call it demo writing to files 1.java. And I'm going to check the main method. So if you're going to write to a file in Java, you need to have three different classes. First of all, you need to create a file class. Then you need to create what's called a file writer class. And then inside of that class, you're going to use a print writer class. So you have to create all three of these first, and then you can start printing things to a file. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the file. So I'm going to name mine as file1. And the file name is actually called out.txt. So the class that we're going to be using is called file writer and the instance is going to be fw. It references the file that I just created in step one. Let's make sure that we import the libraries again. And now we have an issue. It says you have an exception, an IO exception, and let's add that to our main method. And so up here at the top it says throws IO exception. That's in case there's no file and it doesn't have the ability to open it. And so the third item is called a print writer class. So print writer is the class name. I'm going to use PW for the instance name, and it needs the uh, print previous uh, class as an input to create this uh, constructor. So FW is in parentheses. So finally, we can get to PW.write, and you can see that we can handle a string as our write option. So I'm going to choose line one. Let's make this worthwhile. Let's print a few of these and I'll rename these as line 2, 3, and 4. Alright, so let's uh, see if this works. There's going to be a problem, but let's figure out what it is. Let's uh, run the program. So, no output here. So it didn't print anything to the console. It should have printed it to a file. So where is this thing? It should be called out.txt. I don't see it. All we have to do is refresh our page here. So let's go to right click and is there a refresh? There is. You can press F5 or refresh and sure enough there is a new file called out.txt. Let's open it. And unfortunately it is empty. What did we do wrong? There's supposed to be things in there like line 1, line 2, line 3, and 4. Here's the secret. pw.close is what we forgot to do. So close We'll conclude the transaction and write to the file. So let's uh, do it again. I just ran the program. Let's open up out. And now you can see we've got line one, line two, line three, and four. That's not what I wanted either. What did I forget? So instead of using dot write, let's go to, let's try something else. Let's do a dot, and it looks like print line. Print ln is what I'm looking for. So I will print line instead of write. I wonder what that does. Let's take a look at out again, and sure enough, line one is now on a line return character, and it's on its own line. So I'm gonna do the rest of these the same way. So copy and paste over top of write, and change it to print line, run the program, and check the output. And now we have one line for each item. So I'm going to change my program. I'm going to show you that you can print loops, you can do uh, printing in any kind of a general format of programming. And so this should say line number zero, line number one, etc. And let's see what that looks like on the output. So I'll run this again, check the output, and there it is. So I'm running 15 lines of text now. So that concludes a sample of how to write to a file in Java.